YouTube modeling community. This is Russ Roeder. Uh, this is the final on the uh, Tamiya Mercedes 300 SL uh, with the uh, MGSF uh, Fat Boy Trans Kit. Uh, like I said a million times, that it went together beautifully. Uh, any mistakes were that of my own, not due to the trans kit or the model kit. I want to try to uh, change the lighting a little bit and see where I can get the best. I think that's the best right there. But we'll go in a little closer. You guys can see uh, the little badges were super fiddly. Uh, and I went through two, or went, there's four of them that come with it. Uh, I put one on the dash before I got clipped the other two, and I broke the other two. So I used what came with the kit. I got the shake today. I was just cutting grass, so balance out. So I had to use that on this side, so it kind of gives true to the nature on one side. And then the other side. Got the fat boy emblem on it. Uh, you know, we flocked the interior. Uh, that's a splash paints uh, leather tan, I think, or something like that. Uh, all the interior was airbrushed. I used a contrasting color to do all the, uh, like on the inside of the doors, uh, up on the roof part of the doors, the uh, steering wheel, the dash, and all that. So you can see it, you know, it's really close. I think it's like a shade or two off, but the naked eye just doesn't really pick it up. Uh, the trans kit also came with the uh, seat belts and the hardware, the steering wheel, the shifter. Like I told you before, I broke the shifter that came with it. I was going to drill it out and pin it and use one of those little push pins on it, but the more I started looking at the stock one, I was like, you know what? We can just wrap that in leather too and we'll be just fine. Let me we'll zoom in here a little bit. Give it time to focus. There we go. All the decals are in. I used a UV curing glue over all the lenses to create the lens effect. Uh, it's a really neat little trick to do, guys. Uh, makes your dash kind of pop out. I used it on the steering wheel center over top of the decal to make it look like it had a glass bubble over top of it or clear plastic bubble. Uh, all the trim was done with Molotow. Uh, and you can see after a while it kind of dulls down a little bit, but it still looks the part. So I'm not really worried about it. To me, a black panel line wash in the trunk because the trunk is not open. Uh, the tail lights are three pieces each. If any of you have ever built this kit before. Uh, there's no really where to put my signature tag, so this one isn't going to have it. And there's one of my little mistakes right there. Uh... I set that in place, it's so tiny. Uh, even with tweezers, I was having an issue. And I finally got it in there, and the glue was already setting up, so it locked it in place. And then I couldn't get it moved before I cured the glue. So uh, it is what it is. But overall, it looks really great. All my body lines blended in really nice. The paint, and when you get up close on that, you can see that black through it. And the silver, the metal flake. That's one of those rub-off transfers right there. That's where it's supposed to be. Uh, any little thing you see right there is not a flub in the paint. That's just the shine. The lights are reflecting off of it. Uh, the tailpipes and the muffler uh, are part of the trans kit. I painted mine to look, kind of look like the Monza bore tips, Ferrari, whatever you want to call them. Just add a little touch to them. Uh, I think they turned out pretty good. The tires and wheels turned out really good. The brakes calipers, rotors, uh, those are all part of the trans kit, and then uh, there's nothing underneath the hood that comes with the trans kit, but this is all kit parts, uh, weathered, using the panel line wash, uh, decals that came with the kit, decal, de or kit decal for the hood emblem there. The grill is friction fit. Uh, it came with the, uh, it's really hard to see. Let's see if I can pick it up here. 
the mesh there you go the kit came or it came in the kit so that was a really nice little touch of detail the fog lights are four pieces you've got the bracket the bezel the uh, lens and then the trimmering uh, all that was done in uh, all clad chrome and then I put clear resin over the fog lights and cured them so it got a somewhat of a shiny look I don't know if we can get up on there and it'll show up probably not this angle I have to get it up high maybe maybe I can't get it up high I don't know try again yeah it's gonna be hard to see at this angle guys but you know we had a little few little flubs in the paint on the hood we got them all out has all machine polished out uh, this is how we will display it with the come on I'm scared it won't break something I lost the little bracket to hold keeps the hood up of course but that's how we're going to display it just like that You see the side, we did put the side view mirror on. Uh, we kind of weathered it just a hair because, you know, it's it's how it catches rain and everything else. And I was informed by Mr. MGSF himself that he has a boot designed for this to make this a convertible. So, uh, hopefully he gets that released soon. Uh, that way I can purchase another one of these and do a convertible version. Uh, it'd be a totally different color. Uh, but yeah, because there is a 3d rendering going around on Instagram of this car with a wide body kit on it, but it's a convertible. Everything else about this is identical, except for this is the, the gold wing doors, the iconic gold wing doors. But yeah, the only thing we had left was the fog lights and the tail lights, and we got them on just a little while ago. Uh, fiddly little parts like that, I use the UV cured glue. I do not use super glue because the UV dries crystal clear, and if you get just a tad bit on your paint, uh, it doesn't show very well. Uh, the 2K really kind of they blend together, and you can't really see it. So it's a nice uh, if you get a little accident. It's a nice way to uh, gather back from your uh, thing. Uh, I see right here, I got a little touch up to do right on the side of that handle. Uh, that shouldn't be chrome showing through. The glue probably smudged the paint off of it, so I'll touch that up. Uh, here's a couple little things on the dashboard I want to touch up, but with this style door, I can get in there very easily. Now we're kind of looking down over the driver. We'll see if it'll focus. Give it a minute. There it goes, starting to focus. Kind of give you a driver's view. Uh, great kit. Uh, trans kit was great. I can't recommend it any higher. Uh, you know, guys, this this would be a pricey build. Uh, the kit's about fifty bucks. You may find one cheaper, but uh, you know, it's the kit itself is between let's say 40 and 50 something dollars uh, and sometimes it's hard to find so uh, you know find you one put it up in your stash and then uh, order you a trans kit from uh, MGSF and then uh, you can build one like this too you know the sky's the limit as far as colors and you there's a lot of detail I saw in that engine that could be added and uh, turn it into even a higher uh, more highly detailed kit than what I did uh, the most fiddly parts on this kit is that mirror, the fog lights, the tail lights, uh, there was one other thing, oh there's a, a support bar on the chassis that runs from the passenger side front uh, frame back up to the center, that's hard to see. You can see like right there's the bolt head detail and it runs that angle down through the exhaust manifold 
and then up here to the front of the frame. Uh, that was a bear to put in. You know, the as far as the thing, you would think the, the chassis itself would be fiddly. It is to a degree, but it goes together so nice that it, it, it didn't really fight me. Everything kind of just fell into place. I just don't rush nothing. Uh, we showed how we do the body work. You know, we put sand everything down good, get it ready for paint or primer. And then we start filling in. We start sanding and shaping. And then we uh, do a coat of primer to see if we got everything. And if not, you just keep the the uh, bodywork going until you get it. And each time, add a, a light coat of primer. That'll it'll cover up what you just did, and it'll show anything you missed. And when you're happy with it, then you go with your, your next primer or right to paint, however you're going. Uh, with this, since... It was a candy paint. You didn't want. I didn't want to have different shades, because that would make the candy appear different, different colors. So we, we did light gray first. Did all the body work, fixed it, and then we coated it with a coat of black, and found some more, some more body work. So we used the gray primer, uh, putty, and we did that two more times, and then finally we were able to put our final coats of primer on it, and then we went with a silver base which I, either silver or gold would be the best uh, using candies, in my opinion. You can use like a pearl underneath it. It will change the effect and outcome. Uh, as you guys saw in the uh, 32, that was, a, that was a pearl underneath the candy with a silver base. So it just depends on what colors you're trying to go for. I always like something new and different. I don't like having two models the exact same color. Uh, maybe a shade off, because I do have a, a car that is similar to this. Uh, it's a... Uh, what is that car called, Rick? I, know, I forgot. It's a Ford. Oh, 1960 Starliner. Ford Starliner. Uh, I've got it's painted a similar color to this, not exact, but similar. Uh, but sorry for the shaking, guys. But yeah, I mean, you know, overhead, there's little decals that go up in these vents up here. We got those in. Uh, everything's cleaned up. It needs a, a good wipe down before it you know, goes to any show. Uh, Will I bring it to Acme? I don't know. I might. Uh, you know, there's builds that's better, but this, you know, this is my build. And uh, I hope you guys like this. Uh, thanks for watching. And, you know, as always, uh, if you're watching this, please subscribe. Uh, hit that bell notification. You'll know when my videos come out. Uh, and you'll see things like this. This was a fairly quick build. Uh, I might have three weeks into it, uh, just a little bit each day, uh, but it was going so smoothly. It was easy to work on and come back to and sit down and get focused and, you know, let all the juices run and, uh, I didn't lose interest in it. Uh, it kind of actually drew my, all my attention into it. Uh, and that's, that's when you're having a good time building a model is when you're completely content with what you're doing. Everything's coming out how you visioned it how you how you wanted it to be uh yes things fought me these fog lights were a pain in the butt uh mocking it up and putting it back together i learned that uh you better have everything in place before you put that shield on on the bottom i forgot to put the hood on so there's how i learned that so if I build this again, then I know that bottom shield and that exhaust pipe is the last two pieces that go on this kit. We even got underneath the hood detail painted. And I mean, again, on camera, it doesn't do this car justice as far as the paint. Uh, it's just a beautiful color. And it turned out really good. I mean, like I said, it's not perfect. I didn't spend hours wet sanding every little piece and polishing out, getting the paint 100% smooth and, 
you know, all that. So that would, it would get critiqued and picked apart that way. But, you know, if you're just building model cars and you're setting them up on your shelf, this is a, this is a personal trophy getter. Now, would it pull a trophy? Eh, probably not. But again, it's, uh, it's different. You don't see this much on a, even a table at a show. Uh, but yeah, I've always, I've been wanting to do this one for a long time. And then when MGSF came out with the, uh, trans kit, I was like, holy crap, I can finally build this without having to scratch build everything for it. And, uh, you know, working with him and, uh, him sending his, his, uh, great parts to the channel for everybody to see, uh, made this available to happen. You guys responding and, uh, purchasing some of his parts, uh, you know, it made all this happen. So this is what I'm talking about is getting somebody involved with your channel, uh, that can help you in ways that, uh, you really can't help yourself. Uh, you know, considering we ball on a budget, uh, we don't have the high dollar to always go out and buy kits and all the parts and, and, and do this. We got to pick and choose what we spend our money on, but thanks to the kindness of his heart and, you know, his great parts, he stepped up and sent us this trans kit and, you know, this is a result of it. I've got to send, I got a slew of pictures taken. I got to send this to him through his email. He'll be using these on his channel or his platforms as well. Uh, and the other, the only other little thing is these chrome trim things right down here. These were a pain in the butt. Same with these little gills here. Uh, my fault, I got a tad bit too much glue. You can kind of see there's a dark spot at the back side of it. Uh, in person, it's not that visible. When you're really getting up close, you can see it. Uh, I touched the paint up, and of course, it, it's candy, so it's not going to, it's just not going to blend right. But like I said, with the naked eye, you can't really see it and, unless you just get up close and personal with it. But yeah, the taillights, that trim there, and the mirror and the fog lights were the, the hardest thing. Everything else was just super simple. I mean, as far as, you know, normally when, if I do a build of this caliber, you know, this is months and months and months worth of work to make the fenders, to blend them in, you know, so on and so forth. So something to go together in three weeks that, that gives you a, a good example of how well, how well everything goes together. <coughs> Excuse me. So again, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, stay around to the end. I'll put up a, a, a slideshow of all the different angles I took of the car. Uh, and you, you can kind of see a little bit better and not me shaking around holding the camera. So until next week, guys, this is Rusty Rotor. Go build a model. Check out MGSF. His link is always down below. Uh, when you go to his link, that's his online thing uh i recommend going to upscale hobbies on the internet uh, they're located up out of indiana uh, he carries his parts so it'd be a lot faster shipping and less expensive uh going that route uh, and for this video i'll put upscale hobbies link down below as well uh you guys let me know what you think about it uh so till monday this is rusty rotor i'm out